Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you a script I've written that lets you concept randomly generated guns in Blender. I've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3 recently as well as working on new add-on projects that are not quite ready yet, so I thought for this week's video I'd just give you something fun to play with in the meantime. What it does is select parts from a list of possibilities contained within collections and then attaches them together at the correct positions. The system knows where to connect the pieces thanks to empty reference objects to act as position guides. These guides can be set on a piece by piece basis. All of this is contained within a single blend file and you can get your hands on it for free from the link in the description. Before we jump into how it works there are a few things to keep in mind about the system. It has been intentionally hard coded specifically for gun concepts using three parts which are a body, a barrel and a back detail piece. With a small amount of coding knowledge you'd easily be able to add new categories or parts to your liking. Of course you could also use the same technique to generate any kind of structure not just weapons. I do have an abstract version of the procedure that is agnostic towards the type of structure and will allow for an infinite number of nested parts and subgenerators, but I'm currently saving that for an upcoming add-on project and I want to wait until I have some really cool and fleshed out demonstrations before I release it to the world. One last thing to know about this demo is that I've decided to keep the number of input meshes down so that the file doesn't go over the free product size limits on Gumroad. So let's take a look at how it works. To use a script the first thing you want to do is find it in the text editor window and then go to text and then choose run script. This will register the classes with Blender and allow them to be used while we've got the file open. Then what you should be able to do is search for the start generation procedure operation. If you're using Blender 2.8 you should be able to open the search window by pressing F3, but the exact hotkey could vary from user to user. If you call the operation what it will do is select a collection of input parts, duplicate them, make them visible and move them to the collection called generation result. From here you'll be able to take the objects and do whatever you want with them. If you call the operation again you'll notice that the new result will overwrite anything that was previously stored inside of the collection. If we go to the generator underscore weapon collection you'll see that there are three child collections inside of it for the body, barrel and detail parts. Inside of these collections are the individual objects that the script will use to create the result. We can see this if I hide all of the other objects and then make one of the body parts visible. The body is the major part that the barrel and extra detail piece will connect to, and we have the flexibility to change the positions they will be placed at with the use of child empty objects named pos barrel and pos detail. These empty objects tell the script where the origins of the extra object should be placed. For example, if I select the pos barrel empty object, then we can see it's telling the script to place the origin of the barrel object roughly above the center line of the y axis. Only the body requires these empty references as the barrel and detail objects do not have any children that need to be attached to them. It's very easy to add your own objects to the generator, you need to make sure that both the mesh data and the origins are positioned correctly and that they are placed inside of the right collection whilst also following the naming convention. For example body underscore zero four would be the correct name for the next object in the list of body parts. The naming convention has to be maintained because the script will ignore any objects that do not include the correct term. Like I mentioned earlier, the script doesn't have to be written this way, but the demo has been maintained specifically for a free part weapon setup. An abstract version of a similar generative method would be adaptable and not care about hard data like object names, but I'll share more about that once it's ready. So make sure to download the blend file from the link in the description. Feel free to modify the demo in any way that you like to see if you can come up with some interesting generators. Don't forget to follow me on social media channels or join our Discord server to stay up to date with upcoming content. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.